A question you might be asking is, why am I not getting a full charge from Maverick Pad? Or why isn't the pad charging my device at all? Wireless charging is a relatively new technique of recharging electronics. A big requirement of this new technique or process is distance. If more distance or material is placed in between the two devices, the recharging process becomes less efficient. I have here an iPhone with built-in wireless charging capabilities. You can see that the phone is currently bare. It doesn't have any cases or any other exterior accessories that would create distance in between the phone and the pad. You can see that as I place the phone onto the Maverick pad, that the pad initially recognizes and immediately begins to charge my phone without any issue. I now have a thicker case that I'm going to place onto this phone to simulate what happens when Maverick Pad does not recharge your device due to additional thickness or material. So let's go ahead and put this case onto the phone. I have finally got the thicker case on the phone. This particular case is designed to provide additional protection to whatever device that's inside it. This is all well and good, but one of the big cons of this is that it creates quite a bit of additional distance and material between the charging coil inside the iPhone and the charging coil inside the Maverick Pad. This particular case is adding about five to six millimeters of additional material. This may not seem like much, but it is enough to radically change the recharging experience. So let's go ahead and put this phone with the case onto the Maverick Pad and see how well it performs. Ah, so as we see, the Maverick Pad initially recognizes that there is a wirelessly compatible device present. But as the pad continues to try and charge, the added distance and material created by this new case is making it very difficult, if not impossible, to make an adequate charging connection. This results in the flashing red and green lights that we see here. These flashing lights communicate that the Maverick Pad is trying but not succeeding at charging due to the additional distance and material created by this case. We recommend that for a better recharging experience, when it comes to wirelessly recharging your devices, whether you're using a Maverick Pad or any other wireless charging device, that you use a thinner case and that the case is no thicker than four millimeters. If you use a case that is thicker than four millimeters, there is a better chance that you will run into issues while trying to recharge your device. We also recommend that if you have a MagSafe compatible phone, like the iPhone 12 or any others, that you use a MagSafe cases. This particular case provides additional assistance in alignment, which help reduce the potentiality of adding distance that may come as a result of misaligning your phone on the charging pad. If you have any other additional questions or issues, please feel free to reach out to our support team or visit darkenergy.com for additional information about wireless charging. Please see the links below. Thank you.